don't forget to like and subscribe! Sino, are you around here? Here we are. This is the place. Show is. Huh, I remember this place. Late. Looks like nobody's home. Oh, Sino moves fast. If he was here, he's probably long gone by now. I know that voice. Is that Tainari I hear? Yes, ma'am. Ah, Professor Zahahadi. Wow. So it really is you. My goodness, whatever is going on tonight? Because I think we saw her in Kaveh's hangout, We're right? We're looking for Sino. So, he's already been here. Yes, not long ago, in fact. He knocked on my door and asked if I'd seen Cyrus today at all. I told him the old fool left early this morning, and I hadn't heard him come back. So, we went to his place, and would you believe it? He's gone! Goodness knows where to. Probably to the desert, right? It must have alarmed Sino, because he took off in an awful hurry after that. He never did explain what this was all about. <sighs> How serious is it? Uh, pretty serious. It's like a conspiracy well, type thing. if Cyrus isn't at home... Oh, it sure doesn't sound good. Professor, did you hear that a student recently tried to extort Cyrus? Why, yes. When I left the house that day, I noticed he was watering his flowers in the field in complete silence. He had a piece of paper clutched in his hand, and he looked lost in thought. I wonder if he knew what the symbol was. I could tell something was troubling him, but he wouldn't tell me what it was. If Sino hadn't happened to visit him that day, he'd probably still be holding on to that thing. After seeing the letter, Sino told him to contact the Corps of Thirty. But Cyrus was very reluctant. He claimed it would only damage his reputation. Eventually, he relented, after much persuasion from Sino. Weird. Why would he want... Huh? Cyrus didn't want to report it? Yeah, well, why that's not? that's strange. When we saw him, he seemed pretty okay with the idea of the kid getting his just desserts. As a former sage, it's possible Cyrus still has enemies at the Academia. That's why Sino was so insistent that he report the matter to the authorities. I was there while they were going back and forth over it. So Cyrus initially hoped to stop this from going public. But why? Because he probably has the 10 million Mora somewhere. He only reported it because Sino forced him. Which means Cyrus must know something about the Temple of Silence, right? Oh dear. What on earth has that old fool gotten himself wrapped up in? Oh, I do hope he's not in danger. Oh, I almost forgot. Sino left me this letter to pass on to you. He wrote it when he came by earlier. He realized you might come looking for him. Good Thank call. You. What does it say? What time is Yeah, yeah. My friends, this is a rather complicated state of affair. Unfortunately, I cannot disclose more than that. Oh my goodness, okay. I ask you to understand and accept that I had to act alone at this stage. Don't come after me. Jeez, man. My friends, this oh, is a okay. rather complicated state of affair. Unfortunately, I cannot disclose more than that. I ask you to understand and accept that I had to act alone at this stage. Don't come after me. You know, if I knew Paimon was going to speak it out, <sighs> yep, I wouldn't that have sounds said like anything. Sino. Thank you, Professor. Please do not worry. We will do all we can to protect both Sino and Cyrus. Traveler, Paimon, let's head to the Academia and regroup. Yeah, see if Alhatham and uh, Kave found out anything. You're here? I thought you were going after... Ah, I guess you lost their trail. Uh, they didn't leave any. We went to Cyrus's house. No one was there. Sino got there before us, but he was long gone by the time we arrived. He didn't say where he was going? No. He left us a letter and told us not to go after him. Right. Can't say I'm surprised. 
Typical Sino. Well, you know... Anyway, some updates on progress on our end. I drew the emblem from memory again, but in more detail this time. Oh, my goodness. That's a talent. I checked some ancient texts for a similar design. The one I found was a little blurry, but the similarities in the general form and certain details were clear enough to confirm a match. Yeah, and we're lucky we found anything at all. It turns out the emblem was all but lost to history. We scoured the entire Academia collection, and that book was the only one with a record of the motif. Meanwhile, Arav managed to get Uraka to disclose his source. The okay. one who told him about Cyrus's embezzled funds was a young man from the desert. According to Araka, he had a striking presence and was well-educated. Apparently, the two met in the tavern over a game of cards. The guy claimed to be in the city for business as part of a merchant caravan. Uraka was intrigued when he heard what his new acquaintance had to say and brought up the idea of extorting Cyrus for Mora. The guy encouraged him to go ahead with it, then handed him some pen and paper to write the letter. Okay. I see. So it could be that this person planted the paper intentionally. So, how do we find this guy? Did Uraka say where he is? He doesn't know. He claims not to have seen him since that day in the tavern. The man gave him some tips on how to carry out the extortion, okay, but from great. then on, Uraka was acting alone. Nephis and Arov have gone to meet the Court of Thirty and review the city's entry and exit records. Also, Nephis admitted that the Temple of Silence in the Academia is just a facade. The true Temple of Silence once came to the Rainforest to establish a collaboration with the Academia. But, as time went by, the Sages gradually became corrupt and foolish. Yeah, we kind of got the that Temple from the Temple of Silence quest. felt that they could no longer trust the Academia and ended the partnership. They retreated back to the desert about 400 years ago. That's a long time. Ever since Jeez, its inception, man. the Temple of Silence has been the guardians of King Deshret's civilization and belief system. They traveled throughout Sumeru, sequestering and guarding any wisdom that posed a threat to the people's livelihoods. At its roots, it was a legitimate and reputable organization whose purpose was to guide people towards the right path. I mean, that's good, I guess. The academia of the day knew that the split would damage their reputation if it became a matter of public knowledge. And so, they set up a dummy organization of their own to conceal the truth. Oh, I Not see. Not only that, okay. but they managed to keep up the charade for hundreds of years! I mean, it's abandoned, so that's probably why they didn't need much upkeep. So how did Cyrus become acquainted with the true Temple of Silence if they left centuries ago? I'll bet that's the question that bothered Sino. Probably why he went after him in such a rush. Whoever is behind this, getting Uraka to extort Cyrus was only the first step of the plan. Their true goal in doing so was for Cyrus to see the emblem on the letter. He must have recognized it right away. That'll be why he didn't want to involve the authorities. He probably hoped to take care of the whole thing by himself. Unfortunately for him, Sino had other plans. Right. Since the desert is where the Temple of Silence originated, that is in all likelihood where Cyrus went. Yeah, but the desert's ginormous. I have to go after him. Really? Are you sure that's a good idea with how you respond to the heat? Well, why don't we send someone else? Yeah, yeah, it's a good point. I should be fine as long as I bring plenty of water. Besides, I just can't shake this ominous feeling that if we don't catch up to them soon. <sighs> Everyone, I have news from the core of 30. Master. Oh, so that's Nafis, Tainari's master? Oh. oh, we're finally getting to meet him in person. About time. It's been a long time. It's a pleasure to meet you, Traveler and Paimon. That's some glasses, man. Jeez. Several independent eyewitnesses have reported seeing Cyrus and Mahamatra Sino leaving the city at different times. Both were heading in the direction of Caravan Rebot. I was going to suggest that you join forces with the Corps of Thirty in this case, however... As I'm sure you've already heard from all Haytham and Kaveh, the Temple of Silence is involved. The Academia has made a number of decisions throughout history that I am ashamed to talk about. It may well be that no better choice was available to them, but those actions are nonetheless a stain on our legacy. Right, yeah. I won't attempt to make you understand the Academia's perspective. Now is the time for action. I understand where you're coming from, Master. But I'm afraid the situation might be more complicated than we thought. I think 
we need to keep a low profile, or at risk making things worse. Good point. If Cyrus is involved with the other side, or worse, if he's fallen into their hands, and... Uh, everyone, we have to get Cyrus and Sino back safely. We cannot afford to lose them. Need our help? Whatever you need, we got you covered. Really? Wonderful. You have my most sincere gratitude. Yeah, I and I will continue to follow up on the lead from Uraka. Kave, Scribe Alhatham, I'd like to ask you to cover the duties of the House of Dana. Oh. Tainari, <laughs> you're planning to go into the desert, correct? Kave's thrilled, I'm sure. I am. Kave, I'll be okay. You stay behind to help Master and Alhatham. Well, if you're sure, okay. But be careful. Thank you all. Arav, let's go. You'd better get moving. Don't forget to ask for help when you need it. Will do. Let's go, Tainari. Hopefully we can catch up with Sino before it's too late. Knowing him, he's probably covered a fair distance already. All right. But we still have a shot. Let's take it. Okay, we made it to Caravan Rivat. Where should we go next? Hmm, maybe we should ask the nearby guards if they've seen anything. Hold on. Look over there. Is that... Dia? Hey, Dia and Candace mm, both. Are you sure you want to brave the desert alone? I mean, it's your choice at the end of the day, but still. Wow, they're bringing out everybody. Jeez, what's next, Nilo? It's not my first time. I'll be fine. My goodness. Sino. If you're really going to go through with this, then at least take our advice. When you're packing for your trip, budget for five days more than you plan to spend out there. Five days more cheese, Makes sense. man. Okay, I'll go get ready. Thought we might find you here. You're trying to retrace Cyrus's steps, aren't you? <laughs> Didn't I tell you not to come after me? Yeah. I thought I had a good lead on you. Well, sorry, but we never agreed to that. Why would you go off on your own like this? Nothing personal. It's just a complex situation. And I'd rather not involve anyone else if I can help it. <laughs> Takes a special kind of person to get Sino chasing them all the way out to Caravan Rebot. Right. But why so coy today, huh? You only gave us his age and description. Why can't you reveal his name? Is he Sumeru's most wanted or something? Oh, also, <laughs> hey guys, it's been a while. What's going on, ladies? Dia and Candace! So nice to see you. Actually, seeing all of our friends is the whole reason we're here. You're looking well. Glad to see it. Candace and I came to Caravan Rebot on business. We ran into Sino as he was asking about some elderly gentleman's whereabouts. Some people say they saw him. <laughs> Guess he stood out as an older guy heading into the desert alone with just a sumpter beast in tow and very few supplies. Uh, that would mean he knows exactly where he's going. That's gotta be one heck of a story there. Sino, it's okay if you can't tell us anything about the case. But let us know how we can support you. We're here to help however you need. The more people we have working on this, the quicker we'll be able to find the person you seek. No, it's not that simple. If I'm right, he'll be doing everything he can to avoid us. We spoke with Zaha Hadi. From what she said, it's pretty clear that he wants to try and solve this on his own. It won't be easy trying to find him in the desert when he's deliberately trying to cover his tracks. Right, yeah, good luck. Sounds like this is far more complex than we imagined. Still, if he started from Caravan Rebot, the chances are that his route took him past Aru Village. He may as well ask if anyone there has seen him. Good point. <sighs> My thanks to you both. Once this is resolved, I will find a way to repay you. Ah, uh, come on. No need to get all serious. Just buy a round of drinks next time we're all in the city or something. <laughs> That's a deal. All right, so, you all set? Yes, we'll handle it from here. Um, thank you again for your help. I don't take it for granted. All right, then we'll leave you to it. Just remember, if you change your mind and need some reinforcements, we'll be here. Oh, yeah. And don't think you'd be imposing. You can depend on us. Don't worry, we'll keep him out of trouble. I'll get to talk to him? Yeah, sick. Sino should count himself lucky that the Traveler and Tainari got here when they did. 
What was he thinking, trying to play the lone hero? The desert tests the character of all who enter it, and only those with wisdom and courage shall prevail. But take heart. With his companions by his side, no harm will come to Sino. I don't think it would have harm would come to Sino anyway, companion or not. Alrighty. Haru Village, right? Hold on. There's a few things I'd like to clear up. <sighs> Go on. So, after you left the campsite, we had a longer talk. Hmm. Clearly, we've only scratched the surface of the Temple of Silence question. It doesn't surprise me at all that the one in the Academia is a fake. Yeah, why? <laughs> The Academia, bro, do I swear to goodness. you have connection with the Temple of Silence? <sighs> I do. I trust you're all aware of the spirit that gives me my power. Herman Nubis, the original founder of the Temple of Silence. Oh, damn. So he's like... waist deep in this, okay. Due to my unique constitution, I was put through a number of trials in the desert when I was younger. Later. I met the professor, and he brought me to Sumeru City. But my memory of that time is hazy. I can't recall much. It's a good thing that Kave noticed the emblem on the letter. Without that, I don't know if we would have connected the dots and realized there was more to this case than mere extortion. I did not recognize that symbol at all. Whether that's because I've never seen it, or because my memory fails me, it's hard to say. Yeah, you're right. Thank goodness for Kaveh, and for all Haytham's diligence during his time as acting Grand Sage. Right. Poking about all the but secrets. Cyrus must have recognized it right away, right? Otherwise, he wouldn't have had any qualms about you reporting it. Oh, maybe his connection to the Temple of Silence goes even deeper than yours. Oh, I'm sure. I suspect so, too. Professor has never once mentioned the Temple of Silence in conversation. And whenever the conversation turns to Hermanubis and the concept of spirit indwelling, he avoids going into any depth. Well, speaking of avoiding things, you do realize, don't you, now that we've caught up with you, you're stuck with us for the rest of the way. Yeah, I think he got that. <sighs> I am aware. Yeah. And I have accepted it. Or rather, I don't see how I could manage to ditch you en route, so I might as well accept that you're coming with me. That's right. Fact is, we're coming with you whether you like it or not. So the best option now is to try to look out for each other. Ha! Fair enough. Then at least let me buy you a drink once we're back in the city. Works for Gather me. up all the people. All right. Off we go. Let's start by seeing what the guards here can tell us. Hello. Mahamatra Sino? I'm looking for someone. So I'd like to confirm any recent foot traffic in and out of Aru Village. Sino describes Cyrus's appearance and hmm. provisions. A man matching that description passed by Aru Village not too long ago. He stopped by to load up on food and water and feed his sumter beast. Then he was on his way. Where was he going? Let me think. He took a seat by the entrance of the village for a while and had a brief chat with the person who came to deliver the water. He said he was headed somewhere near an oasis, but he didn't mention which one. That sucks. There's like four of them. Do you have a map? I can mark out the direction he was heading in the best routes to any nearby oases. Oh, nice. I have one. Mark away. Tainari would. Great. There you go. Thank you so much. You were a great help. You've got a really good memory. Ah, you're quite welcome. Just doing my job. I'm sure he has to have some kind of memory of for luck. being a guard. I hope you find him soon. Thanks, man. Hold on. I see some people over there. Do you think it's safe to ask them what they know? Uh, Should I don't be. No. I'll go. No. I'll do it. Wait, what? I guess. Huh? 
Why can't Sino go talk to them? What difference does it make? <sighs> Given my background, appearance, and the way I dress, I might not be the most welcome visitor here. Just in case, it's probably better to let a more neutral party handle things. I mean, yeah, that's fair, I guess, if you think about it. Ah, hello there. I hope I'm not interrupting. My friend and I are looking for an elderly man who's gone missing around these parts. Any chance I could ask you a couple of questions? Oh, a missing person, huh? Sure, sure, sure. What do you want to know? I'm just wondering if you've seen him. Let me give you the details. That one guy, the new character or whatever. So, a silver-haired guy in a long robe, culture type with thoughtful eyes, and he's traveling alone. He'd stand out like a sore thumb around here. Well, did you see yeah, him? Yeah, sounds like the kind of guy we'd remember if we saw him. He's looking behind me. He sure is. Uh, uh-oh. That guy's looking our way. Your friend over there stands out a lot, too. Hey! Aren't you Sino, the General Mahamatra? Yes, that's me. You don't seem surprised that I recognized you. Well, why Why would he? A lot of people know how, what he looks like, it right? It wouldn't be the first time. Right, that's what I'm saying. Oh, you're the one looking for the old man who's gone missing, aren't you? I have a bad feeling about this guy. <sighs> <laughs> Someone's on edge. You don't trust me much, do you? I mean, we just met, so no need probably to hide not. It. I understand why you're wary of us. Still, you came to us asking for help. Do you want it or not? I thought you were a group of merchants. Seems I was mistaken. Hmm. <laughs> Your henchmen don't look like much. But something tells me they put up a better fight than most mercenaries. Hey! Hear that, guys? You're my henchman now. Suits me. As long as I get paid for it. Right, I don't Just <laughs> cut to the chase already. I'm running out of patience. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. Come with me. All of you. Well, where are we going? Don't you want to find your friend? Well, yeah. Silver-haired, long-robe, culture type with thoughtful eyes? <laughs> Sounds like there's a whole other side to Cyrus I didn't know about. So you know where he is? It seems like he knows exactly where. Just follow me. I'll take you to him. Okay, great. I, I, I guess. Follow the mystery man. Is he gonna talk or as well, or we're just mute? Oh, okay. And here. Uh, what? Where are you looking? There's nothing here! Please, step back. Whoa, something's coming oh, out of the ground! What is this enormous building doing here? Uh, Temple of Silence by the look of how the door is. And how was it so well hidden? <gasps> King Deshret's technology? Wait, so... Hold on, who are you guys really? Is this... the Temple of Silence? So you're a member? All good questions. There'll be plenty of time to address them later. Fantastic. Enter the area. Okay, great. This is not what Paimon was expecting to find in the desert, especially not hidden right next to an oasis. Yeah, this looks way bigger on the inside than the outside. I'm scared. You're fine. They must have kidnapped Cyrus. Do, do you think this is the guy who Rocka met in the tavern? 100%. Hmm. What's wrong? Thinking about your professor? 
I just hope for your sake you haven't done anything you might regret. Uh, me too. I hope I haven't done anything to incur your wrath. Yeah, he definitely knows. Sino for, for, for sure. Talk to the mystery man, okay? All right, you can wait here for now. I'll inform our leader that you've arrived at the Temple of Silence. Sit tight until he comes to greet you. Is Cyrus the, gonna be the leader? Uh, so he's just gonna leave us here unattended? Hmm. Maybe we're not being kidnapped after all. Um, well, yeah, he would need a lot more people they to do that. They can't have been at the Oasis by chance. They were waiting for us. Whoever the leader is here, they were obviously counting on us showing up. <sighs> so this is the Temple of Silence. I'm sure it's Cyrus. It has After to be, right? After leaving the rainforest, they hid themselves here? Hey, look! That guy's coming back! Don't worry. Someone will come and call for you soon. What's your name? Please at least tell us what to call you. <laughs> Sorry, guess I was so delighted to see you, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Sethos. I'll be here if you need me, but I'm not planning on answering all of your questions. Other than that, you can occupy yourselves however you see fit. Great. So we're free to explore by ourselves? I seem so. Yep. I mean, I'm not worried about you running off. Cyrus is here. And unless I've misunderstood, you're all quite anxious to see him again. Logic checks out. <sighs> He's right. Well, if we've got some time, we might as well take a look around. Wait for a bit, talk to everyone, okay. I never imagined that the true Temple of Silence would be hidden somewhere like this. We've passed through these parts before, but never noticed anything. Yeah, it's kind of close to Aru Village, right? That's King Deshret's technology for you, I guess. It borders on the miraculous. Amazing to think that it's been preserved intact all this time. We should be wary of our hosts. Still, at this point, we can be confident that the professor is safe and sound. So that's something. Where's the other guy? Oh, Sethos. Hey, Sethos! Have you got some time to chat? Sure. Although, I'm assuming by chat, you mean you have questions for me? <laughs> I don't blame you. Anyone else would. So you get a lot of people asking you questions? Not often. The Temple of Silence is a place of quiet and solitude. We don't get too many visitors. You were the one who tricked Uraka, right? Yes, that was me. Although, tricked is a stretch. He was asking everyone in the tavern about ways to make some easy money. I see. He insisted that nothing was off the table, even if it broke the law. So, I told him that Cyrus had embezzled a large sum of Mora from the desert. So you framed Cyrus for a crime that he did not commit? No, no, no. That's not entirely true. Let me jog your memory. The letter just said that he had uncovered Cyrus's secret. It didn't say what secret that was. Did you tell him to use that wording? Of course. Uraka was a great accomplice, really. Very cooperative with a little bit of wine in him. Did exactly what he was told. Not much of an original thinker, though. It doesn't surprise me that he struggles academically. Why did Cyrus leave for the desert as soon as he received the letter? You'll have to ask him that one yourself. Certain things I can't answer for him. I'm neither judging nor defending him. All you need to know is that he recognized our emblem. And it was his own choice to take the bait. Do you know Sino? <laughs> what kind of question is that? He's the General Mahamatra. Everyone in Sumeru knows who he is. That's what I'm saying, but that's not what they meant, like, on a personal right, level. but back at the Oasis, you can't have known who he was for sure, or you wouldn't have asked him. So, what we're really asking is, have you never seen him in person before? I've lived in the desert my whole life. 
guess you could say I've never had the pleasure. Ugh. Why does Paimon feel like this guy's not being straight with us? <laughs> Come on. We've only just met. If I give you all the answers up front, you'll have nothing left to look forward to. Have you ever been to the academia? Nope. Not once. Really? Really? I have no need to go there. Not when the taverns are full of the Urakas of this world. Besides, we're well aware of what goes on at that place. Are you saying spies in the city? Spies? <laughs> it's not as clandestine as that. The city gates are wide open. Anyone's free to walk in. You can find out all you need to know just by walking around town and hearing the word on the street. Mm-hmm. All right. Definitely a fishy character, for sure. Ah, here he is. Okay. Transition. Grandfather, the person you wish to see is here. Well done, Sethos. Greetings, one and all. I am Ba Moon, the current leader of the Temple of Silence. I know why you are here, and I thank you for your patience. Bring him out. They look extremely similar, or am I crazy? Professor! Okay. okay. Cyrus, are you okay? Watch what you're doing! I guess not. Oh, my apologies. We have no intention of causing you distress. But you must understand, Cyrus is of great importance to us. We had to find a way to bring him back to us. Cyrus owes me his life. And to the Temple of Silence, he owes a debt of gratitude. I let him go a long time ago. But now... The time has come to demand payment. <sighs> I wanted to end my feud with this old bag of bones before you caught up with me. But you got here so quickly. Yeah, we tend this to do that. Yes, I know. This is a matter between us two old men. You're all too young to get involved. So that's why you didn't want to report the letter. You'd made up your mind to come here from the beginning. You only left in such a hurry to try and throw us off your trail. Some things in life catch up with you. No matter what you do, you shouldn't have come. That alone brought the others. Sino didn't make us do anything. We came here for the same reason he did. To rescue you. We'd appreciate you telling us the truth. Otherwise, it seems a little unfair on everyone who had to stay behind. <laughs> right. My secrets are secret for good reason. Bringing them to light can only lead to misfortune. You're afraid, aren't you? You can't bring yourself to speak of your past deeds to the students you nurtured as if they were your own children. You recognized our emblem because for many years you lived among us. Indeed, you all but became one of us. You knew as soon as you saw the letter that we, not Uraka, were the ones speaking to you. It threatened you only because you know what you did. Your own guilt convicted you. For you, Cyrus, are a traitor. You once shared your learning with us, and joined us in our mission to revive the might of Hermanubis, to bring new hope, new opportunity. But then you betrayed us. You bargained for your independence with your past contributions. And then you left taking with you Hermanubis's might and the wielder of his power. Oh, I see. We both That's know why what they're I pissed. said to you that day. That as the leader, I grant you permission to leave, but that one day, the sands of time will catch up with you. And when that day comes, you must pay the price you owe. <laughs> you really know how to hold a grudge. 
Well, you stole the power, man. Herm Anubis is might? And the wielder of his power? Does he mean you? <sighs> Professor, anything to say? The moon is right. I came here once before. They rescued me from the brink of death once, many years ago in the desert. When he learned that I was a scholar, he invited me to come here and revive the might of Hermanubis together. Uh, it was a great, daring plan, and one shrouded in secrecy. The Temple of Silence had been bereft of Hermanubis for too long. The strength of its faith and its warriors were waning. So they asked the you for help? The moon proposed that we implant bar fragments, shards of Herbanubis into the bodies of suitable vessels. Okay, great. If the experiment, An experiment. was successful, the spirit of Herbanubis would then dwell within the vessel. Uh, many believers volunteered themselves for the experiment, but we soon discovered that the bodies of grown adults could not withstand Hermanubis's power. In the end, Bamoon offered his own adoptive grandson. Sino? One other child was identified as a suitable vessel, and his parents agreed to release him into our custody in exchange for a small fortune. These two children were our only hope for hosting Hermanubis's power. <sighs> For many years, the Temple of Silence had been in possession of two Ba fragments from Hermanubis. As remnants of his raw power, they were exceedingly rare treasures. Oh, yeah, I bet. The test subjects were sent into a room that had been prepared for the ceremony and instructed to approach the Ba fragments, whose power had been amplified. If, after some time, this power did not repel them, this would mean that they were suitable vessels. The original plan was for a three-stage experiment. Resonance, implantation, and recovery and observation. The resonance stage went quite smoothly for both candidates. As the second stage began, I realized a decision had to be made. Should we implant the fragments one at a time? This would allow us to monitor the results after the first round and adjust our plan accordingly. Or right. alternatively, we could implant each fragment in a different vessel at the same time and compare their effects. Oh, yeah. But as Ooh. I was deliberating, both bar fragments suddenly became active. They glowed with a light we had never seen before. I knew that if they were not implanted right away, they would disintegrate and be gone from the world for good. Our two vessels had both displayed great promise by successfully resonating with the fragments. Under the circumstances, the thought of implanting both fragments into the same vessel seemed out of the question. Right. To preserve our faith and our power, we implanted each of them with a single fragment. Ultimately, I ended the experiment and left, taking one of the children with me. In recognition of your past contributions, I chose not to send someone to hunt down and kill you both. Your lives were spared, but I have paid a great price for your betrayal ever since. I have always wanted to see you, Sino. Losing you and your Ba fragment dealt us a devastating blow. We've been in decline ever since you left. That's a lot of people behind. I didn't even notice them. I see. So that's how I gained my power. Look, in essence, I borrowed your bar fragment for a decade or so. And now you are seeking justice. If you want to take my life, then so be it. I'm an old man now, anyway. Yeah. But you cannot lift a finger against Sino. He is the General Mahamatra. Your actions would be seen as a declaration of war against the Academia. Yeah, I don't think they care. I'm sure you don't remember anymore, dear Sino, but you've met us all before. 
You were so young then, when we all gathered around and celebrated the revival of our Lord. You and he, Sethos, you were our final hope. <sighs> You'd like me to return my power? Uh, can you even do that? As a follower of Hermanubis, I have allowed this power to remain in the rainforest for far too long. Now, it is time to reclaim it. So yes, it seems like that's that what they want. power is not yours to reclaim. Sino was chosen by the gods. You cannot take what they have bestowed. You are wrong. Sino was chosen, but he was not the only one. My child, Sethos, has the same gift as he. So those are your terms for freeing the Professor? Despise me all you want. My sins are my own. The Temple of Silence is an innocent party. It is because of my foolishness all those years ago that the Temple's glory has waned. And now I must take responsibility for the decision I made back then. So what you're saying is... The power of one Ba Fragment is not enough? You're asking me to return the one in my possession, so it can be implanted in him instead? I'm... yeah. Divine power causes great suffering to those who wield it. How do you know that Sethos would be able to withstand it? He is no longer a small child. But regardless, this burden is ours to bear. And your objections mean little, given that you turned your back on us long ago. <sighs> uh, Both my heart and mind are telling me that what you are proposing is a terrible idea. What, well, yeah. Don't listen to him, Sino. That power is no more yours to give than it is his to take. You have to understand. I mean, I guess? I know. But if this is a question of your freedom versus a fragment of power, then... There is nothing to debate. Sorry to interrupt, but in my view, there are a number of contentions here that still need addressing. Yeah, Say what that are those? Sino refuses to return his power, and you also refuse to release Cyrus. Then, we are at an impasse. I find it hard to believe that you went to all this effort without planning for that possibility. You're trying to gauge where we stand while keeping your remaining cards close to your chest. Well, my stance is, put the rest of your cards on the table. Then we can have a discussion. Wait, those ears? So, we have a descendant of the Valuka Shuna in our midst. <laughs> Splendid! <laughs> <laughs> Fate smiles upon us after all. We can get some Tainari lore. Everything too. we have longed for, Hermanubis will provide. Perhaps this very day we. <coughs> 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 Why is he coughing so much? He looks like he's in really bad shape. I. Bay Moon's condition is critical. He must have been forcing himself to act strong. His eyesight must be failing him too, otherwise he would have noticed Tainar's ears right away. Yeah, that's a good point. A moon, you take our leader back to his room. <coughs> Sethos, <coughs> you must. Grandfather, I know what you wish to say. Leave this in my hands. I don't like to drag out conversations, so I'll just cut to the chase. Yeah. Had Cyrus not stopped the experiment all those years ago? The plan would most likely have been a success. The wisdom of Herman Ubis would have been ours. Still, it's no use talking about what ifs. We cannot change the past. I'm not like my grandfather. The Temple of Silence has a grand legacy and a sacred duty to fulfill. So it's someone inevitable for the leader to have an inflated sense of self. I, yeah, I guess. I see things a little differently. I don't believe the temple has the same stature that it once did. Time has worn away at its prestige and changed things almost beyond recognition. So I'm not going to force your hand. You're all free to leave. Except for Cyrus. 
My grandfather gave him his chance once. And now I'm giving the rest of you yours. <laughs> you have courage and wise judgment, kid. Reminds me a lot of Bamoon in his younger years. I just... Oh, I truly wish that the temple would take an objective look at the academia of today. You've been to the city yourself. I'm sure you've seen that much has changed for the better. Yeah, they're not idiots trying to make a, uh, a deity. And things will only continue to improve. Why not consider cooperating with the academia once more? If you hadn't betrayed my grandfather, I might well be open to persuasion. But it's a bit too late for that now, Cyrus. Hmm. Tainari made a good point earlier. He said there has to be more to your plan than this, and I agree. All you and Ba Moon are after is the Ba Fragment. The Professor will accept whatever fate you deem fit for him out of a sense of guilt. I am the one who has a choice to make. And that's how it was always going to be. Ultimately, you want to trade the Ba Fragment for the Professor, correct? I'm glad to see you're giving it some serious consideration. I won't forsake my Professor. Nor do I intend to run from a problem that I must face sooner or later. <sighs> Give me one night to make my decision. That works. Okay. Then I'll be waiting to hear your verdict, Sino. Oh, my grandfather still has a fair few things he wants to say to Cyrus, so... I'll be escorting him back now. Sounds good. Are you sure about negotiating with him? I... I need to think this through. Everyone lets meet again later tonight. Until then, take some time for yourself. All right. Well, don't put too much pressure on yourself, Sino. If you I'm need sure any he'll help do that anyway. Out, just come and find us. Okay, great.